Hi everyone and welcome to Wasp Outdoors. In this one I'm going to show you how I've modified my snugback endurance. Right, welcome back everyone. So as in the little intro today I'm going to show you what I've done to the snug pack endurance to modify it to make it better for me. Uh, now if you're regular to the channel you'll know that I had uh, modified a previous snug pack endurance and had that uh, stolen with a lot of gear involved in that and because you guys are absolutely awesome I've been able to go out and replace the majority of what's been taken so the core of what was taken uh, you've seen videos on the pouch kits and things like that, that i've done and now it's time for the backpack and what i've done to the backpack and then obviously put it all together for the end of this video okay so this is a box standard snug pack endurance picked up direct from snug pack itself and i've done a review video on the endurance which i'll leave up top for you now and also down in the description box below but I'm going to show you what I've done to it just to sort of start off from past experience just to add to the actual backpack itself um, before putting all the different molly attachments on there so this backpack is around about £100 uh, direct for Snugback and Amazon I'll leave links to it, all the products again that I use below I'm going to show you the simple little bit of modifications that I've done just to make it better so one of the first things that I've done this is the side pocket uh, on the Endurance and then I've just added in these little additional velcro tabs now all they'll do is allow me to put on a little patch or um, if you've seen before the Viper accessory holders uh, just sort of double panel patch and you can just sort of slot in uh, an axe or something like that that'll just drop in there so that's the idea of these Molly backpacks is that they're all sort of modular so you can adjust to suit your needs but yeah I've done that on both sides just a um, a length of velcro sewn in on both sides as i said this was a standard one and this is just the little modifications that i've done so the next one is in the hood and you can see a key keeper so all i've done there is stitch a length of molly webbing or just a little bit of webbing into the seam there and just give myself a little key keeper ideal for sort of attaching my wallet and my keys you know little things like that doesn't come as standard but that's just what i've added right let's go in there uh, do the rest of the mods right so just in front of me is everything that i'm going to attach uh, to the snug pack endurance uh, so you can see the pouch kits that we've already done the fire kit cook set and possibles pouch we've got some of the little molly and pals uh, compatible d-rings uh, some of the elastic bungee retainers some gear straps to go underneath the Wii Sport raccoon pockets to go on the sides and obviously everything that we need to get it back to how it was so I'm going to do first little steps right now okay so first little step uh, I'm going to put on these Grimlocks uh, so I've done a video on these and how to use Molly and Pals um, already so I'll leave them on screen for you and down in the description box below uh, but the Grimlock is basically just a little uh, D-ring so it comes apart like this and you can just clip bits of gear into there and it's quite a secure strong connection I'm going to put these here where the D-rings are there and then just a little bit lower down just in there as well right so I've put on the four Grimlocks now so I've got two up in the top corners and then two a bit lower down uh, just before the bottom of the pack just so you can see them just here so next step is we're going to add on 
the luggage straps onto the base and then put on some uh, webinators to keep them in place. And there you go, we just attached that quite simply on the bottom and just fed it back through. And then you've also got this little buckle on here as well. And now we're just going to coil all the rest of the ribbon up and uh, keep it in place. Okay, so to keep this all nice and neat at the bottom, we're just going to use one of these. So I'm just going to feed that on the strap itself and then loop over and just sort of retain it with the bungee. And there we go, that's that done. Just uh, held in place on itself with a little bit of bungee. Do the same on the opposite side. And there we are, both straps in place now. So these will come in handy for attaching, I don't know, a sleeping bag or roll mat or anything else. Uh, maybe even a stove when you've got a hot tank camping, if you've got a stove small enough uh, to fit on the bottom. But yeah, that's what they'll come in handy for. Right, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is going to be adding on the Wii Sport Raccoon Pockets in black. Now these were like rocking horse um, manure <laughs> to get hold of. And I ended up going direct to Wii Sport and sort of put, placing them on pre-order, uh, getting them before. But I've done a full video on how I installed these previously, but what I'm going to show you uh, before I do is I'm going to place on probably four of these little Molly and Palace clips, so two at the top, two at the bottom, just to give it that little bit of extra security whilst I've uh, threaded it on. Right, so that's the uh, raccoon pockets in place. Um, again, I have done a video of these previously being installed, so I'll leave that for you on screen or in the description box below or whatever. But that's that done now, so you can see it's starting to really take shape. So again, we've got the Grimlocks up here, we've got the pockets on the side, and we've got the straps underneath. Now it's time to add on the pouches. Well, the pouches are going to be done in similar fashion to the raccoon pockets. Uh, so just using the Molly and Pals ladder system on the back and obviously I'm going to put one of the little uh, retainers up on here as well on each pouch. So I'm going to put a uh, fire kit possibles pouch and cook set on. The videos um, of all the contents and stuff I've already done so you can go and check them out as well if you want. I'll leave again them in the description but I'm just going to attach all three of these pouches and then I'll bring you back. Almost finished, uh, I promise. So the cook set is attached now by the Molly and Pal system and a couple of little retainers, uh, as is the fire kit and possible pouch. One last thing that I'm going to put on is this. So this is just like a, an airtight waterproof Molly box. I'm going to be storing sort of camera equipment in there, so the batteries for my GoPro, um, etc. And it'll go on there, fasten up. Like so, and then these are like your Molly and Pal system. So again, that'll live on there. So that's about it, right? Let's uh, go and wrap this video up. Right, well, as you can see, I've shown you all these simple modifications uh, that I've done to the Snugpack Endurance that anybody can pull off. Uh, if you're following some of the instructions that I've done with the Molly and Pal's videos. Uh, so again, if you like pouch kits, I've got uh, a playlist on pouch kits and what's inside them. Um, so the possible pouch fire kit cook set um, but yeah nice and simple and it makes it so much more versatile and um, obviously with it being modular like this you can adapt it and change it and tick things off add things on um, you know and continue to adapt and improvise everything as you're going along but if you've enjoyed this video and the content inside it uh, please give the video a big thumbs up comment let me know what you thought about this and if you're not already Consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle. I'll see you guys in the next one.